guys, so this is my week of recovery, and I am recording this in advanced. But this is on Mad Miners, and we are going to try and get an iron farm with a villager trading hall put up. And I have a shulker here of all the items that we have gathered up that I'm going to use. Some scaffolding. But yeah, we're going to dig a little hole here and get our first chest put in for all the iron and a hopper. On this hopper, we're going to have to put a fireplace, but I'm going to be decorating this at the same time. So there will be gaps. This is for the kitty cats. This will also give us string. Because we can't have kitty cats roaming all over the server causing lag. And I'm deciding, I think we're going to go with the smooth sand block. And I want this chest to be able to open. So we are going to have to use some glass. Uh, is that going to be visible? Probably. Like I said, I'm just fooling around. I'm trying to figure out the pattern for this so that it's not going to incorporate anything later on. But we need a platform for the golems. It's just a matter of what's going to be visible and what's not going to be visible. I'm just going to change this all into sand block. And that will be a certain area, which is a 3x3. Three three. All this should not be seen. Hopefully. Actually, that one behind the fireplace, this one probably will be seen. So, that's going to be a sand block. And then this is the wall around it. But yeah, hopefully this will be a really good trading post. I'm probably going to trap a zombie in here to uh, get their trades down. Yeah, so this would be the platform here, and corners I might do in a different material later on. Is this, do I want to see this? We're already losing light. But yeah, it's just to get this put in. And if I want more chests, quick nap, start another day. Yeah, so we need some dirt because I don't think we need that side and we need to get up here. And I forgot the dirt. Yeah, because we don't need this side right now. And then I have the option later to put another chest in. But up here is where we need to go. So our walls will be here. Here. And there. So I want to see these columns. And there's the corners and the wall and the corner. There. So this will be the platform where they burn. And right here will be our display. And I'm going to stop the smoke by putting in two buttons. And there. Oh, I might have one too high. Because I know it has to be right by the fire to stop the smoke. So, give me that. And that. Where does this fire start? There? There. There, that stops the fire. Hopefully that doesn't cause any issues. And the keycat should come into this hole. 
right, and over here is my corners. I need more stone. Let's fill those up for now. Just so I have an idea of where we're looking. Get this glass built up, and then we are going to do a layer on top for the platform. Because yeah, water has to go into this corner. Which I did not bring up. I got water. Prepared, but not quite prepared. We go, and that'll push everything into that hole where the fire is. This, however, won't be killing the golems. But I do need spare water because the top, or, top water platform is going to be water as well. And some glass. I'll be able to open this chest. And then this can be just sandstone. And I want access to the chest. So that's our kill chamber and our chest collection system. And this is bedrock, so it won't work as efficiently as Java. And that's pretty much any mob farm or golem farm. The mechanics are not quite the same with the villagers. But yeah, we want that too high, so three. This is our top platform. This is where the water platform is going to be. And we're just going to take it eight out from each corner over here. And get the platform built. So, yep, we can see where the golems are going to fall. Now we need some signs. Right there. Back up here. Alright, this is just to keep the... Lava in place, so two there, one there, one in each corner, or each center, and one there, and that should be it. I was thinking that maybe corners would be affected, but apparently in this plan it's not, so we don't need to technically do this. Because the lava should sit there. But I'm still going to fiddle with it because I can. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Nope. Nope. Don't need those. But we do need this one because the lava has to sit on this one. So as long as signs don't catch fire, we're good. A lava. Just show you how this is done. Don't need those seeds. But yeah, you put the lava on top of this sign, and it shouldn't move. But we're not going to do that because I don't feel like barbecuing myself today. I don't need that one. So you just need four in the center, and one in the middle to hold the lava. There's a wick. So that's our kill chamber and our lava set up. Now we have to build the platform. I'm going to take this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. With that bottom one there in the corner counts as eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. We're just going to build this all the way around. And I'm going to have another nap because it's night. And I don't need creepers blowing this up on me. Alright. This one out. And then fill in this platform. Oh. 
and we're just gonna get this platform done in. So, how are you guys? Are you enjoying the videos? Be sure to hit like and subscribe and uh, hit the little notifications as it does help out the channel. And as you can see here, we do have the platform together. And we got our little corner pillars in here. And our leaves. This is also a design by Silent. But his design is specifically for, I think it's like 10 villagers. Not, or yeah, 11. 10 at max, but we're going to increase that. Because I did talk to a couple of people who have done this design, and you can increase it. But right now, let me check something. There we go. We got this all done. We're just going to put water in the corners. Not in those blocks, but in the block away from that block is where you're going to start your water for infinity. And unfortunately, I need more water. But I'm going to get this all filled in. And uh, not that block, but from that block forward and that block. So we've got all our water in, and it should look a lot like this. All going down the corners. If you see any area where the water is not going down the corners, you most likely missed a block. And this is just so it all reaches that point. Now, if we have stone to start getting ourselves up, I should have thought to use scaffolding actually. Because we need the platform for the beds. Uh, right here is where you're going to put your villager, so villager stands here. Um, placement block. And the sides. And villager will sit in there. Oh, that back. And ceiling. So he doesn't become barbecued. Oh, I still gotta put the base in, so still need that block. There you go. The villager will sit there. We'll get him in through here. And that will be the first bed that you place will be that villager. And he's gonna lock it in as a village. Here we are going to go up. Three, and then start building a platform here for the beds to sit on. Oh, not that. And... This round. Ugh. Sometimes you're just not high enough. You know what? Stay there. We'll get this platform done two by twos. But like I said, this is pre recorded. Um, I am currently out for surgery this week, so hopefully I will be back next week. If not, I'll have some pre recordings probably set up just in case while I recover. I don't want to fall down this hole. Oh, I didn't want to bust that though. Uh, is there an easy way to do this? Of course not. I have to pillar up this way. If I hold shift, I might not fall through the water. If I can beat the current. There, two. And if you want to add more beds, you just take it out four instead of two and add more beds. Make sure they're facing towards the center. And the first bed you place is the most important. And you need a minimum of 10 villagers to even start this. So 10, 20, 30, I believe is the gas for these. But yeah, first bed, first villager, that's where it goes. And you want to face the pillows towards the center. 
Oh, now I have to get down and not fall into the hole. And a way to get the beds up here. We'll put some torches on here because I don't want mobs spotting up here. I don't want a creeper in the system. But yeah, we just gotta put the bed in and get the villagers up here. And then I'll do some decorating around here, close it in, to get more suitable. Sorry if there's a little bit of pausing in between, I am sick. But we did get this all put in. And uh, we got a couple of villagers in from the village breeder. Got them all locked in the trades. I had built a ship outside, but uh, underneath my creeper farm, unfortunately, it did affect the creeper farm. So absolutely nothing can go underneath the creeper farm. Or it will affect its drop rate. It is specifically has to be over the ocean, but now we have iron and villagers and trading. And yeah, this is wonderful. Now I don't have to dig for iron all the time. Is there copper golems I can do this with? <coughs> Alright. Yeah, I got some chests set up here. This will be moved around. Because like I said, I want to get a zombie in here so I can uh, do a little bit of desombifications and lower these trades. I was cleaning up the cats so there's no cats running around the server. And then we got our iron. So that's it for this episode, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. So take care, be safe, have fun, and I'll see you hopefully in next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.